Hey friends, welcome back to the show. In today's video, we are at a customer's home where we're gonna be putting in a new Delta shower valve. We were here yesterday, removed the old one, we capped it off, kind of ran out of some time. But today we're back and I'm gonna show you step-by-step step on how I go about doing this. So let's go. There's a lot of people that are in this house. Uh, we're pretty much going to be secluded to one bathroom, so just bear with me. I'm not really sure what kind of activity is going to go on. Let's go get some work done. Right there is the old valve that we took out yesterday, late afternoon, old Delta, and that is our new one that we're going to be putting in. This is going to be for shower only, so we'll end up having to cap off the bottom end. Let's go in and see what we're working with. All right, this is a large shower enclosure. Very nice. This is where we were yesterday. Remove the old delta valves and everything. Very tight quarters here. Not a lot of wiggle room. Uh, with the shower only. That's a concrete block. Uh, so we're going to start by taking a couple rags and stuffing them back here in this area. So that way we don't lose anything down in the wall. And we've got the water shower off the house. We're going to get those shark bite caps off there, get this prepped, and see if we can't get that new valve in here. we're going to attempt to try to do is not break this wall out and have to put a plate in there. Um, if we have to, then that's what we're going to have to do. But we have to be very careful because this opening is very sharp edges, this tile. So we'd be surprised to have a bloody knuckle before this is over with. We're going to prep the copper out real good uh, with some sand cloth. All right, so there's where that shower head's gonna go up. We'll put our little mirror up there. There's a little bit of solder still stuck up there, but everything else looks fairly clean. If you look closely on these Delta valves and stuff, they always stamp what part of the valve needs to be in the up position and stuff. So this is obviously going to the shower head, or hot or cold. And we don't have a tub, so we're gonna be capping that off. But the old valve came out. What they had done is they had offset 245s kind of like that in order to get to the valve and have it so it sits just right coming out of the wall and catch that shower and that's what we're going to have to recreate as well as some street 90s half inch copper street 90s coming off of the hot and the cold which have covered up keep debris from falling into them I'm going to go ahead with a wire brush and clean the inside of this and the hot and the cold I'm not worried about cleaning the inside of the bottom. Like I said, this is only for a shower. We're not going to be putting any threaded fittings on here. They're going to be soldered in inside. Right now that we've cleaned those sockets out, we're going to take the bonnet nut off this. And this is just a test cap. There shouldn't be anything left down inside of there, but we're going to be applying heat to this, so we don't want nothing that's going to melt on us. All right, so we've got a couple of copper half-inch street 90s. We're going to apply some flux to the street ends. They've already been sanded and cleaned. Put that flux on the street end. And we're going to take, we're going to put them on a hot and a cold side with a valve like this. See that? Put some flux on the hot and cold side. The two lines in the wall. Sounds like people are waking up and making breakfast. Unfortunately, the water is off to the house. Just like that. And we'll put some up here on this for the shower head. This is gonna be tricky doing this one-handed, but this is the concept of what we're looking at having to do here. See that? Let me see if I can move that pipe over just a little bit. Let me match the pipes there. See that? That's what we're wanting to do. All right, we're gonna cut a small piece of half inch copper pipe uh, so we can stub it out of the top end of this valve from the shower head. Not much. I'll show you the next step once I get this whole piece cut. Okay, there's our tiny piece and we're in the up position for the shower head. And we've got some flux on the end of that pipe. I'm going to stuff it in there. Now I'm not going to have a whole lot coming out of the top. See that? 
but we don't have a lot of room. We're gonna put a slip coupling on the arm going up and maybe try to slide it down to connect to that. I don't need a lot, but I need enough where it's gonna connect. Come on, baby. slide that up as far as we can. See, it's flush. Now let's see if that valve will fit on there. We pull that back down and catch that little nub we just put on the valve. Okay, watch closely. See how we're there? I'm working with one hand here. I'm gonna to try to slide that slip coupling down to match that. Ah, it's close. It's almost there. There goes my light. Push that up just a tiny bit. This is very difficult to do one-handed. There, now I need to slide that down. It is connected, everything looks straight. Now we need to solder up our joints. Well, it's not the prettiest of solder joints by any means, but at least it's going to be hid behind a wall. I think I got them all. We're gonna let this thing cool off and come back in and put cartridge in there and turn our water on it and see if we've got any leaks. We by no means are working towards trying to get an award for the prettiest solder joints on this job today, but you have to exercise patience and precautions. First of all, you got that jagged tile that's around in that tight little hole. You can tear your hand up just like a razor blade. You saw me stuff that rag, that towel down in the hole when we first started the job so we wouldn't lose any parts or fittings or tools. Not to mention behind that tile is drywall. We don't want to catch that all on fire and all that good stuff. But it's together. We're getting ready to go in, put the cartridge into place, turn the water on, and see where we're at from there. All right, now before we put that cartridge in, remember we have to cap this bottom line out. Um, I've put Teflon tape and pipe dope and I've got a half inch brass threaded cap we're gonna install on the bottom of that. All right, here is our cartridge. A couple things to know about this, this is the Type P. Um, this is a posi temp. Uh, first of all, you're gonna find the N that's got the H on it, that's for hot, which is gonna go on the left. And this is your scald guard. You wanna lift that thing up and turn it counterclockwise until it stops. And that allows for full range of heat. Remember H, we marked on here, see that? That's gonna go on the left-hand side. Let's install it. Nice and easy. See the two notches? Notches gotta match. <clears throat> like that. You don't need to put a wrench on this. Tighten it by hand. Snug. Just like that. Off. We're going to take one more time and we're going to do an inspection around the solder joints and then get our water turned on. my helper is on his way out to the water meter to cut the water on right now and we're going to find out if we got any leaks or not. All right, the water's back on and I don't see any kind of leaks going on.
last thing we want to do is update that shower head with a handheld. We're getting ready to put this handheld in here made by Delta. Once we get it up, I'll show you how it looks. Nice and easy. Hand tight, they have washers in there. All right, let's see what we got here. Look how nice that came out. Nice and pretty. Let's turn it on and test it out. And that is going to be a wrap, my friend. That thing came out absolutely perfect. You almost think it was done by a pro. <laughs> Time to get out of here. Hey, that's going to do it for this one. Thanks so much for hanging out and watching the video. Business as usual, out with the old, in with the new. And we didn't have to break out that tiles or anything. We were able to work in that same little spot. Tricky business, though, and we didn't end up with too much of blood on our knuckles. <laughs> Got any comments, questions, leave them down below, and don't forget to keep plumbing.